Hi, everybody, and welcome to Spa Babies, presented by Stone Street. I'm Dan Ullman, along with Nicole Russo. Let's kick off the Travers Week edition of Spa Babies with our Wednesday race, kicking off the 50-cent pick four, early pick four at the spa. It's race number two. We're going six furlongs. It's a maiden special weight for New York breads. These are two-year-old colts and geldings. Ten in here, seven to two morning line favorite, the nine sacrosanct for Brad Cox, but we are presented by Stone Street, so we should mention that the ten toga life is by the exceptional Stone Street bread. Complexity has gotten off to a very good start at stud. Yeah, Complexity, one of this year's leading freshman sires, a real breakout horse. As you mentioned, bred by Stone Street. Stone Street also raced his sire, McLean's Music, with that fabulous buyer in his only start. McLean's Music, one of several Stone Street color bearers who have developed into good sires and in the second generation, good sires of sires. We'll see another one of those in here in Cantheros. We'll start things off with the number one, Pomisio, who's been working at Finger Lakes for trainer Chris Engelard. This one's by Higher Power, Young Stallion, 0 for 11 with first-time starters. But as you see, a big female family, Shared Belief was a super racehorse back in the day. What can you tell us about Higher Power? Higher Power, a grade one winner, is an older horse. He's a big, good-looking son of Medaglia Doro. He does have multiple winners from this first crop. They're just not winning first out. They seem to take a little bit of time to develop. And that's the impression I get from this horse's female family as well, with a lot of route ability in there. I think I might take a wait-and-see approach with this one, especially drawing the rail in a more sizable field here. Eric Consell picks up the mount. The number two is Just Licorice. This is a son of Triple Crown winner. Justify does very well with his two-year-old first-time starters, clicking at 20% winners. This one was a buyback, $120,000 earlier this year after breezing a quarter mile in 22 seconds flat. The third jam champion, two-year-old Meadow Star. Uh, this one shows some solid breezes for Linda Rice. Yeah, and just a beautiful pedigree. You mentioned, of course, Triple Crown winner Justify, who is followed in the mold of his sire Scat Daddy by being a very good source of precocity and a very versatile sire. And then you mentioned two-year-old champion Meadow Star. So many branches of her family have become outstanding. One produced Arrogate, just as an example. Jose Lascano aboard the two, just licorice. Experience so important in these races. And the number three, Chasing Colton, already has two lifetime starts. Had the misfortune to face a very sharp runaway winner in his career debut. And then ran pretty well in his second lifetime start. Showed some speed, was outpaced late. Now gets blinkers on. And the runner-up from that most recent race came right back to hit the board again with a 63 buyer speed figure. Irad Ortiz takes them out for the first time. Yeah, and it looks like he's coming out of not just one, but two key races. You mentioned that he faced some nice horses last time out. In his career debut, he was second to Moplex, who came back to win the Sanford. And third place finisher out on Bale, was, who was third there, just won the Skidmore. And you know what? I, I like Leah Frick as a sire, uh, was called up, so to speak, from New York to Kentucky very early in his career. I think a lot of people believe in this horse. Chasing Colton, trained by Carlos David, who's been sending out some really live horses at this Saratoga meet. The number four is Sky Town, a $50,000 yearling by the first crop sire Echo Town, who's gotten off to a pretty nice start. Four for 12 with first time starters. The dam won three dirt sprints. Note the asterisk. That means she was a debut winner. There's a lot of sprint and precocity in this family. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of sprint and precocity on that bottom side to back up Echo Town. He was unraced at two, but was a grade one winning sprinter at three. And he's a half to champion two-year-old Echo Zulu. Skytown will be ridden by Katie Davis. John Terranova trains. The number five is Scheduling Dude. This is a son of the very fast World of Trouble, who connects with 14% of his juvenile debut runners. The dam won three sprints as a half to girl with a dream, a grade three stakes winning sprinter that won her career debut. Uh, she's been breezing regularly since mid-May for trainer Rick Dutrow. We have a formulator fact for Rick. Limited positive data, 2 4 10 $3.79 ROI, first-time starters, made in special weight, two-year-olds in dirt sprints. A uh, scheduling dude has some speed in this pedigree. Absolutely. World of Trouble, a grade one winning sprinter on both the dirt and turf. A son of Stone Street color bearer Cantheros, a good two-year-old himself. 
a good two-year-old sire himself, and sire of another very useful stallion in Bucaro. I think it's very interesting to see Frankie Dettori taking them out here for Rick Dutrow. I was just going to say, Frankie aboard for scheduling dude's debut. A lot of workouts and some fast ones as well. The number six is Brink. The source has raced three times, including a most recent effort at Finger Lakes. Maybe a little bit disappointing getting a bit of class relief, adding blinkers for the first time at a short price. But the horse that beats Brink is a runaway winner. So maybe Brink just happened to catch a good one. Experience does count. This one has three starts. Yeah, very experienced horse in here with three starts. And two of the three have been in uh, non-state bred restricted company. And the factor, another one of those just rock solid, so useful sires at a good source of speed as well. Ricardo Santana Jr. aboard the six Brink for trainer Eddie Davis. The dams a half to evaluate or a good New York bred two-year-old stakes winning going a little bit longer. The seven is Bold Fortune, a first-time starter for George Weaver. Congratulations to the Weaver Barn for 1,000 victories. Bold Fortune's got a pretty quick pedigree. She, he is a foal to a juvenile stakes place dirt sprinter named Walk With Me. He was a career debut winner by Central Banker. Central Banker only 8% winners with juvenile debut runners, but he was a good sprinter. And as you can see uh the dam was multiple stakes placed she's a full to the versatile sharifa both fortune might be pretty quick yeah a lot of speed in the family and central banker has emerged as one of new york's leading sires in uh really a stallion roster that's on the rise in this great state bred program that being said i do like them better at age three and later but connections are firing right now as you said, congratulations to George Weaver and his team on the 1,000th career win for that trainer. And congratulations to Saratoga Springs High School graduate Dylan Davis, who is top five in the rider standings right now at his hometown track, just on fire this meet. They're really having a super meet, Dylan. The number eight is Joker on fire, second time starter by Practical Joke. Going out for Bruce Levine and Javier Castellano. Joker on fire is a half-brother to Shadow Dragon. It was a grade three stakes place dirt router. This one sold for $65,000. The dam was a graded stakes place router. And boy, Jostle was a very good horse. The second dam, a multiple grade one stakes winner. Joker on fire ran pretty well in the debut. Away awkwardly, rushed up, tired. I think he's going to benefit from that effort. Absolutely. He certainly got licensed to improve off that. And coming out of what looks like a nice race, the same maiden we discussed earlier as the toner and as chasing Colton in this race, Joker and Fire gets a nice draw here under Javier Castellano, where he should be able to work out a little bit cleaner, a little bit better tactical trip. The number nine is Sacrosanct. This is an expensive son of first crop sire Honest Mischief, who's 0 for 11 with first time starters. But his horses were very well received at auction, including this one selling for $260,000 in May after breezing a furlong in 10. A half brother to a juvenile stakes winning dirt sprinter in Puerto Rico. The second dam was a multiple stakes winning sprinter and a debut winner. So there's speed in this pedigree. Yeah, and it looks like this one has been working right along for debut for Brad Cox. Honest Mischief, I think, is going to be a very good sire for the New York program by leading sire into Mischief, who, of course, has begun to emerge as a sire of sires from the terrific Judmott female family of sire empire maker, very important to mention here, as well as other grade one performers, getting support from Judmont as well as Sequel New York, where he's standing and other good programs. But, you know, he emerged himself at three and later, and it seems like his offspring might be in that pattern looking at his first time starters so far. Manny Franco aboard the nine, sacrosanct. Completing the field is the 10, Toga Life, a son of Complexity, of course, bred by Stone Street, a $40,000 yearling. Complexity doing so well, as Nicole mentioned. Six for 21 with first-time starters. The second dam was a juvenile grade two stakes winning dirt sprinter, won the career debut. And as we see from our formulator fact, this is what Jeremiah Engelhart does very well Two-year-old first-time starters, state-bred maiden special weight dirt sprints at Saratoga, 46%, a $4.77 ROI. Jose Ortiz aboard, and I'm expecting some speed from the outside post. Absolutely, and, and no surprise that com complexity has been throwing speed and precocity. He was a grade one winning two-year-old himself by McLean's Music. Overall, he's got 13 winners and is approaching the million dollar mark in progeny earnings as he leads the freshman sire list. He's got graded and group stakes winners on both dirt and turf, emerging as a very versatile young sire.
Let's take a look at our top selections for our Wednesday Spa Baby race, the first leg of a 50-cent pick four. Chasing Colton has run well in both starts. With that experience under his girth, I'm expecting some speed blinkers on. Yeah, and not only is he experienced, but I like that he's coming out of what looked like two very good races. First, that debut against subsequent stakes winners, Mo Plex and out on bail, and then a good local start against at least one horse who's already come back to run well. I think perhaps with the blinkers on, he could be a little more focused, could take another step forward. Sacrosanct, the number nine, breezed very quickly at the May auction. Uh, Brad Cox seems to have a foundation for this horse with some nice workouts. Going back to the middle of June, uh, I think we're going to see a little bit of early ability from Sacrosanct. And I'm curious, as you mentioned, Frankie Dottori aboard for the Dutch Row Train, first time starter, scheduling dude. I think that horse might offer a little bit of value. I'm probably going to key on those two in the first leg of the 50 cent pick four. 3987 for Nicole, 9510 three for me. It's our First spa baby race on Travers Week. Best of luck.